वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर हाँ जी आर आलकेन एंड रिडक्शन रिपीट ऑल ऑफ यू वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर जी आर आलकेन एंड रिडक्शन एज ए टोल्ड यू देर इज नो जी आर चैप्टर एज पर एनसीआरिटी ग्रिग्नाइड रिएक्शन चैप्टर जी आर मीन्स ग्रिग्नाइड रिएजेंट देर विल बी नो ग्रिग्नाइड रिएजेंट चैप्टर but you are going to study all grignard reagent reactions at one shot so wherever you see gr reaction you will write easily okay and alkene first year hydrocarbons chapter hydrocarbons contains alkenes 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 that alkenes you will study in this chapter got the clarity and the next chapter and next one is reduction all reducing agents at one shot you are going to learn so if you see any reducing agent fatafat you will solve the question okay so total this uh, topics you are going to learn in just four to five days of time period four days as per you know schedule four days it will take for you to learn the topics okay keep the heading organo metallic compounds organo metallic compounds organo metallic compounds ogm ogm see i'll give you a list of compounds you have to find it out which is an organo metallic compound okay uh, before uh, actually what is this organo organo means carbon metallic means metal carbon metal bond should be there then that particular compound is called as organo metallic compound again i'm repeating organo means carbon metal carbon metal bond should be there this bond is called as organo metallic bond metallic bond carbon metal bond open your practice sheet can you see the screen okay now let us see ch3 ch2 znx here carbon and metal bond is there or not ma'am you are not drawing bond no but carbon and metal is directly connected that is called as organo metallic compound hello hello we organo metallic compound is very much useful for the identification for the formation of grignard reagent so this is organo metallic compound okay see the next one ch3 4 si organo metallic or not no silicon is not a metal not a metal write that it's not a metal so it is not an organo metallic compound next one is ch3 ch2 k organo metallic compound or not yes no potassium is a metal this is a metal metal so it is an organo metallic compound next one is organo metallic compound or not yes no this is also lead is also metal so it is also in organo metallic compound okay see the next one potassium is a metal or not metal so it is organo metallic compound or not organo metallic compound raise your hands yes organo metallic compound bhargavi yuvarani divya pradeep pradeepta na pradeepa and few more students raise your answer is wrong answer down your hands <laughs> why because this is a metal okay but metal should be directly connected with a carbon but here metal is not directly connected with a carbon it is oxygen is present in between so it is not an organo metallic compound this is not an organo metallic compound see the next one 
ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक कंपाउंड और नॉट दिस इज ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक कंपाउंड और नॉट से सनो यस मैम रेजोरेंस एस मैम रेजोरेंस Hmm. Do all the uh, yes, ma'am. Raise your hands. Why doubt again? Argon is metallic compound only. Copper is there. That its name is Gilman's reagent. Right, all of you. Gilman's G I L L Gil M A N S Man's Gilman's reagent. Special reagent. It is a good source of carbon anion. It forms a Grignard reagent complex. I mean. Gilman's reagent. It is called Gilman's reagent. Re Remaining examples you try on your own. Your time starts now just twenty seconds. Remaining examples you should put whether it is organo metallic compound or not. Yes or no. Come on. Gilman's reagent is good. So I'll tell you. Hazel Y camera of Niveda, Jeevana, Sanjay K, Tanishka Anandan. Tanishka on your camera. Completed. Finish everybody. Okay. See here, copper is directly connected with the carbon, so it is organo metallic compound. It is Gilman's uh, reagent. Gilman's reagent. Here, sodium is directly connected with the carbon, so it is a Gilman's reagent. Here, sodium is connected with oxygen, not directly with the carbon, so it is not an organo metallic compound. Here, lead is connected with, uh, you know. Uh, oxygens of this uh, CH three group, so it is not an organo metallic compound. Here, magnesium is a metal directly connected with a carbon, so it is an organo metallic compound. What do you say? Understand? Is it clear? Very good. Now, right here, this is Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent is an Grignard reagent is an organo metallic compound. Gilman's reagent. This is first one is Frankland's reagent. Frankland's reagent. These are organo metallic compounds. What do you mean by organo metallic compounds? The compounds which are having, you know, metal and the carbon bond. What happens when metal carbon bond is there? Metal has a tendency to lose electron. Metals have a tendency to lose electron. So this is electro positive. Then those electrons was gained by this alkyl part, and it goes out as a CH three CH two minus. It is a good source of carbon anion. Understand? See, see in this case, Gilman's reagent means when you see this Gilman's reagent, you no need to confuse. Its function is it gives only CH three minus. It is a good source of carbon anion. Okay, and if you see this one. Any Grignard reagent, it is a good source of CH three CH two minus. Organo metallic compounds have the metals. Metals has a tendency to lose electrons. That alkyl part has a tendency to gain electron. These are good sources of carbon anion. Is it clear, everybody? Okay. Same examples I am showing you. Hmm. Keep the heading. Preparation of GR. Preparation of Grignard reagent. Come on. 
phytophthoride preparation of grignard reagent how to prepare this grignard reagent take any alkyl halide rx treat with magnesium in a dry ether dry ether is a very good solvent for the preparation of uh, you know grignard reagent and it results in the formation of see this r is you know r and here x is there this magnesium will come and insert between these two actually first r bond breaks one radical here one radical here magnesium has two electrons in the valence shell so it combines with one side one r bond one side one halogen both both combine and we will be getting r m g x right there one point mechanism is uncertain it is not clear whether the mechanism takes place through free radical na or uh, any real it's not clear simply rx reacts with magnesium rmgx that's it that's it ready clear drinking tea ha huh? no rmgx that sign is only t sign ha nice no ha ha rx is treating with magnesium drink water morning no tea then right there it is believed to be free radical mechanism few say few others they say this is free radical mechanism this is free radical mechanism it is believed to be free radical mechanism but exact mechanism is uncertain but which type of alkyl halides reacts faster ri reacts faster then rbr then rcl then ri uh, uh, then rf see rf no grignard reagent rf is least bother it's least it it don't involve in a grignard reagent formation mostly ri rbr and R, rcl ri bond is very easy to break this if you take ri can you tell me if you take ri and mg which grignard reagent will be getting r mg i just you should insert that uh, magnesium between that alkyl iodide that's it what do you say which which solvents are the best solvents can you tell me for the preparation of grignard reagents ethers are the best solvents ethers you should not take water you should not take polar protic solvents polar aprotic solvents you should not take you should take only ethers ethers are the best solvents that's why in a, in a tech, in your uh, uh, you know chemistry laboratory if any time if any time you visit one time going here and there one time if you enter into your chemistry laboratory there grignard reagent bottle will be there on that bottle cap if you see the name it will be like this they don't give you simply rmgx in between e2o they give what is the meaning of e2o diethyl ether et means ethyl group two ets diethyl ether is a solvent that is the meaning of that this is a true representation of grignard reagent everybody clear is it clear what is the rmgx e2o it is an grignard reagent and solvent is diethyl ether solvent is diethyl ether got it see the next one actually what is this uh, ether will do is for example this is a grignard reagent no rmgx this is ether molecule ror this ether have lone pair of electrons this lone pair magnesium have vacant d orbitals this lone pair it donates to the magnesium this lone pair this lone pair it donates to the magnesium this lone pair it donates to the magnesium this lone pair it donates to the magnesium understand so what structure you will be getting like an one stable structure it will be it will get in the presence of ether but ether should not be a cyclic ether like three membered ether like this it should not be a four membered ether like this 
these ethers we should not use as a solvent. These ethers, three-membered ether, four-membered ether, we should not use as a solvent in GR preparation. Shall I go to the next page? Why we should not use? For example, if you use our Grignard reagent with this ether, number one, you write number one. Then what happens is, this is metal, no, magnesium. This R minus is a good, that Grignard reagent is a good source of carbon anion. It goes and attack on this carbon. Then ring opening takes place like this. See, same structure. R comes and attack here. Ring opening takes place. So, ether, ether if you take as a solvent, Grignard reagent will react with that. That's why we should not take. Why we should not take solvent function is what to store it, to dissolve that. That's it. Solvent should not react. Solvent should not react. See the this one also, number two. Four-membered, uh, you know, ether. This is, this carbon anion donates to the carbon, then these two electrons shifts here. Then you will be getting a structure. R comes here. So ring cleavage takes place. That's why we should not use, this is oxyrane, this is oxytane. This is three-membered, four-membered. Simply write three-membered, four-membered. Okay, done. Now, if you take five-membered, what happens? Five-membered is tetrahydrofuron and uh, six-membered is tetrahydropyrene. Copy, the, copy from the screen. Come on, all of you. Write these two reactions fast. If you take five-membered and six-membered, tetrahydrofuron and a tetrahydropyrene, if you take, what happens? There will be no reaction. So there is no reaction. That's why these are best solvents. We can use these as also solvent. So if you see on any arrow, THF, you should understand it is just a solvent. Okay? If you see on any arrow, tetrahydropyrene, it is just a solvent. In organic chemistry, it is very important. What is there on arrow? What is its function? You should not, you know, like each, each reagent function is different. So when you, when days are passing, you, you learn, you know, many reagents and their functions in a clear manner you learn. You don't, uh, if you do, if you open book and you study and you see the, before page you want, uh, you see the reactions, then you feel difficulty when you do on your own. But after a completion of this, you will get a clear picture. Oh, this reagent function is this one. This reagent function is this one. This is a product. If anything, if, if here and there change also that you will get immediately. Oh, this one, something is there. I'm not, you will get a full picture. See, put the heading. Reaction of GR. Come on. Reaction of Grignard reagent. Actually, Grignard reagents undergo four different types of reactions. You, you just for, you know, like stylish way uh, representation showing like this. You simply write one, two, three, four. Okay. First one, acid base reaction. First reaction. How many types of GR reactions? Four types of Grignard reagent reactions. When you see RMGX, there are chances of four different reactions. You should identify that particular reaction belongs to which reaction. Okay. Reaction number one, acid base reaction. Reaction number two, nucleophilic addition reaction. Nucleophilic addition reaction. Come on. Reaction number three, SN2 TH reaction. TH means a tetrahedral intermediate reaction. SN2 takes place, but intermediate is tetrahedral. SN2 TH reaction. And the next fourth one is. SN2 reaction. 
SN2 reaction. Four reactions. You wrote, completed. You, you wrote acid base reaction, no. Within the brackets, you write side or down somewhere within a bracket. Compounds having acidic hydrogen. Short way you write. Compounds having acidic hydrogen. Compounds having acidic hydrogen completed. Nucleophilic addition reaction is there, no. In that brackets, you write. In a brackets, you write. Carbonyl compounds. Carbonyl compounds. What do you mean by carbonyl compounds? Compounds which are having C double bond O group. They undergo nucleophilic addition reactions. Next, third one. SN2 TH reactions. If this is the no, third one. In that, down you write acid derivatives. Acid derivatives. If you have any space there, you write this. R C double bond O X acyl halide greater than R C double bond O O C double bond O R N hydride greater than R C double bond O O R ester greater than R C double bond O N H two. You write this for. What is this? These four in these four involves SN two TH reactions. SN two TH reactions. Okay. Got the clarity? Next fourth one SN two reaction. There you write epoxides. Greater than alkyl halides. I'll tell you. Epoxides, epoxides in the sense, uh, just now you studied, no? The toxidin, three membered ether, four membered ether, those are epoxides. In this four, you will be studying one and two conditions mostly. Mostly you see first and second only in your syllabus. Okay? Shall we go to the first one, acid-base reaction, all of you? Grignard reagent, what is the general formula of Grignard reagent? What is the general formula of Grignard reagent? RMGX is the general formula. Clear? And in that metal is, metal is there and metal is directly connected to the carbon and metal is electropositive in nature. So, whatever the carbon is there, that is a good source of, or Grignard reagents are good source of carbon anion. SN2 TH reaction means tetrahedral is an intermediate in that SN2 reaction. TH means tetrahedral is an uh, intermediate. Special reaction it is. Unmute your phone. What's your name? Nartana. What is the name the on display? Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is another laptop. And this laptop defaultly has this, my sister name, Rashni Ridu. Yesterday you are removed from class. Do you know that? Yesterday, oh, yes, you another name and joined. Today, you kept a version of Ridu, but your name is Narthan Varsa, right? Yes, ma'am. Change the name. Change. Change name and keep display uh, student ID. See, I know each and every student name and your face. If you change the name also, I'll come to know. Keep your proper display name, your student ID. It is must. Don't think that many students are there. So, Komali ma'am, don't know. That is a speciality of Komali ma'am. Huh? Robo memory here. Huh? 
okay <laughs> let's see acid base reaction what is a reaction acid base reaction acid base acid base acid base nathan versa change fast ha huh. you, you write one more point rate of reaction first priority is acid base reactions faster then nucleophilic addition reactions faster then sn2 th reactions last is sn2 reactions this is an order of reactivity with a grignard reagent order of reaction speed of reaction one greater than two greater than three greater than four you write acid base reaction acid base reactions when it takes place right compounds having acidic hydrogen what is that what is that repeat all of you compounds having acidic hydrogen come on fat of it you write see for example one compound is having hydrogen what this grignard reagent function grignard reagent is a good source of carbide anion that r minus is there no r mgx means you should see as r minus always how to see r mgx when you see suppose ch3 mgbr you see when you see ch3 mgbr immediately it should come into your mind that is ch3 minus hello ch3 minus that ch3 minus takes this h plus that acidic hydrogen it captures and it forms this is r this is h r h this is r this is h r h is it clear got the clarity do you have practice sheet with you practice sheet is there once open the practice sheet of uh, practice sheet number 2 practice sheet number 2 so what i want to tell you is see how many reactions are there how many reactions many reactions no any reaction see how easily will do this is ch3 minus water is having acidic hydrogen ch3 h ch4 you get methane gas remaining is a side product you no need to write for example mgbr and oh you no need to write if you want to write you can write mg br this is plus and oh minus if you want you write but this is a main product methane gas is your main product hello hello what do you say now this is what ch3 minus correct no partial positive charge or partial negative or simply directly positive charge you keep no problem ch3 minus what it abstracts deuterium d plus sign h plus d plus both are same then what you will be getting ch3 d understand what is a side product if they ask you to write mg br plus what is the next side product left od minus no need to write side product simply i am telling okay ha huh. now this is ch3 two semicolon is there no which means that same ch3 mgbr i am taking as a reagent now with alcohol what is the reaction can you tell me what is the product alcohol is having acidic hydrogen so grignard reagent is a good source of carbon anion this h plus only it will take ch3 minus and this h plus ch4 is your product methane gas will be released remaining side product only mgbr and or side product right or no don't write no problem see the next one can you tell me what will be the next product try all of you try try writing the products only thing is ch3 minus is from grignard reagent h plus from the re another reactant acidic compound acidic compound come on 
just 15 seconds time that's it total practice sheet Achintya Devi, are you there? Achintya Devi. Okay. Do do over. Fast, fast. Do it fast. Yeshwan, Pavitra, Srinitin, Madish, Drushibu. Finish, no? Okay. Now, let me uh, write the answers. Check, check out your answers, whether correct or not. CH3 minus you get there and H plus. CH4 Again, HCl. HCl is a source of H plus and HCl compound or not? This is HCl compound. So, HCl compound gives H plus ion. So, what you will be getting there? What you will be getting there? Tell me. It will be getting CH4 is your product. Again, CH3 MgBr, it is a good source of carbon anion and H plus it gives it's methane. Ma'am, side product out to write if you ask MGBR and remaining HSO4 for minus same. MGBR plus and HSO4 for remaining as it is, you should write no need to do any change for any molecule. Simply. Uh, see next one. This is CH3 minus H plus. Methane. Easy. Any difficulty? Next one. Acidic hydrogen is there. So, methane. Acidic hydrogen is there. So, methane. In this particular compound, you see, here, this is called as active methylene group compound. See, CH2, between, middle one is CH2. CH2 is attacked with two carbonyl groups, with the drawing groups. This said one C double bond O is drawing. This said one C double bond O is drawing. That middle carbon is, you know, it is a more active carbon. That hydrogens are more acidic. It is a good source of H plus ion. So again, you will get methane gas. What do you say? What do you say? Got the clarity? See the next one. See the next one. You, uh, you know, just uh, two semicolons were, uh, for example, same compound, for example, same compound. If I take the same compound, then what will be getting? It is, this is a Grignard reagent. Always Grignard reagent accepts H plus. Here H plus comes. Here H plus comes. If, if the compound is having acidic hydrogen, that's it. It will accept H plus. Easy. Your practice sheet is done. How many reactions like this? 100 reactions we can make. 100 reactions. But concept is, what is the concept? Acid base reaction. Compounds which are having acidic hydrogen, they react with the compounds having, you know, with the Grignard reagent and will be getting the product. Clear everybody? Clear? Okay. Put the, uh, right, so one question. Find, find, Find what is alkyl halide. Write one question. Find what is alkyl halide. Come on. 
लास्ट क्वेश्चन साइक्लो हेक्सेन सेम प्रोडक्ट एज एबो बिफोर वन सेम प्रोडक्ट दिस ओनली साइक्लो हेक्सेन ओनली वॉट इज फाइंड वॉट इज आलकाइल हेलाइड copy the question last question what is so for example here mgcl is there or mgbr mgi anything you take anything you take if this particular compound is having any compound having acidic hydrogen means remove this group put a hydrogen here that is what i want to tell you last example or any example find clear that practice sheet is clear find what is alkyl halide in this what is alkyl halide they are asking you see our product is methane methane you are treating with alcohol alcohol function is what what is the function of alcohol alcohol gives only acidic hydrogen that's it no so grignard reagent can be which grignard reagent some ch3 um mg x this grignard reagent can you imagine the uh, re grignard reagent how i wrote this one because i came to know methane is a product methane means that acidic hydrogen comes from alcohol only or whatever the compound we take so the grignard reagent must be ch3 mgx so ch3 mgx only can abstract h plus and forms methane if you take any other alkyl group we get another product now if it is mg and dry ether then you are you are getting this means what is that r group can be CH3X. Do you understand how I wrote the product back reaction? Back reaction. It is CH3X. If it reacts with magnesium, it forms CH3MGX. Upon treating with alcohol, you will be getting methane gas. Question number two. How many kinds of how many kinds of alkyl halides how many kinds of alkyl halides can be taken including stereo how many kinds of alkyl halides can be taken including stereo copy the question come on all of you copy the question beautiful concepts beautiful concepts 100% attention is needed when class is going on come on write the question each student is attending class like in some thriller movie how it will be like that seriously writing seriously listening very good very good appreciating you all keep it up you have bright future then completed now see here <clears throat> ch3 ch3 if it is ethane means what can be the grignard reagent ha uh -huh, tell me ch3 ch2 mgbr yes sir no yes sir no yes because from alcohol it can take only h plus it is a good source of carbon anion if it is this grignard reagent can you tell me what can be the alkyl halide ch3 ch2 uh, why i have taken br i don't know x i should take no X, they they did not mention anywhere br so x i should take ha huh. ch3 ch2 x what do you say
including stereo they are asking alkyl halide how many kinds of alkyl only one possibility only one possibility only one there is no isomers only one only one you know i still i don't know isomer topic uh, then no problem simply you write only one once i teach isomerism you will know what is the meaning of isomer how to find isomers and all next question next question fatafat you write how many kinds of alkyl halides can be taken this is your question this is your question your time starts now try 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 scribble something wrong also no problem come on completed see here this is c c c four carbons is there so grignard reagent should be four membered grignard reagent okay so 1 2 3 4 four membered grignard reagent means alkyl halide also four membered alkyl halide four membered alkyl halide so that can be one and uh, another possibility is why you have to take alkyl halide only halogen only at first position second position also possible why you have to take alkyl halide only halogen first position second position also possible mam third position also possible na yes or no not possible because if you give numbering 1 2 if you give numbering 1 2 both are same So two halobutane, one halobutane totals two stereo iso, uh, two alkyl halides can be taken. Two alkyl halides can be taken. Can be taken. I'm going to the next question. Come on, over. write a question how many kinds of alkyl halides can be taken you just add small word uh, including stereo here you add a word including stereo in before question including stereo you add a, you add here how many kinds of alkyl halides can be taken including stereo come on this is your question completed okay see here this is four membered product so grignard reagent should be how many membered four membered so if it is four membered alkyl halide should be this is br i have to take here br because here br is given so here grignard reagent uh, alkyl halide will be four membered here four membered means simply here four membered same logic product is four membered means reactant also four membered either you can keep at first position 
either you can keep at second position but in these two one and two if you observe the second structure this is the carbon which is surrounded by four different groups this is one group this is two group this is three group carbon valency i did not balance here carbon valency i did not write here so one two three only three bond means one more bond also will be there that is hydrogen bond h carbon h bond so this is what two structures are possible this is optically active what is the meaning of optically active carbon which is surrounded by four different groups hydrogen ethyl group methyl group and a br so how many products are possible can you tell me four products are possible sorry three products how many this is one and in second product again second structure again two are there one is plus one is, one is minus so total three alkyl right there three alkyl halides can be taken including stereo three alkyl halides can be taken including stereo got it crystal clear very good keep the heading derivative of thank you meera derivative of active hydrogen determination capital h you right derivative of active hydrogen determination what is the meaning of this derivative of active hydrogen determination agil before page derivative of active hydrogen determination Ma'am, three or four? All three, three, three only. What is this derivative of active hydrogen determination? Is this is the name of the scientist? What he says is take Grignard reagent in excess amount. How much amount? Excess amount, like one mole, not one mole, like two mole, three mole, some moles. Excess amount you take. and treat with compounds having acidic hydrogen compounds having acidic hydrogen for example you are taking grignard reagent here write this reaction all of you i will explain write this reaction you have a sheet with you practice sheet with you ha 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 okay okay so one reaction you write then i'll shift to practice sheet if you have uh, see here what is the function of grignard reagent it is a good source of it is a good source of repeat hello hello tell me answer grignard reagent is a good source of carbene anion Re again repeat again repeat grignard reagent is a good source of dash carbene anion so it produces which carbene anion whatever that r part is there r m g x that r part r minus r minus r minus fix in mind r minus when you see any acidic compound that h plus only it will take that h plus only it will take so this is ch3 this is h what you will be getting ch4 ma'am already acid base reaction you told no then what is the speciality what derivative of uh, telling is here only one mole alcohol is there so only one mole methane we will be getting how many moles of methane we will be getting only one mole okay fine one mole of any substance occupy how many liters volume do you know in mole concept of first year you learn that one mole of any substance will be having 22.4 liter so here methane is 1 mole so it will occupy how many liters 22.4 liters this is called derivative of active hydrogen determination method easy simple very simple how many acidic hydro simple very simple means seeing like this ha ah, for you simple for us if you study you'll come to know man for you also very easy little practice touch up you should give after a class that is key point key point to the success those who do little practice after a class they get the success open the practice sheet
It's not there. Oh. Not there, no practice should not there. There are not there. Not your head. There are not there. Not there. Is there? Is there? Is there? Check second question. Is there? Sarini is there? Yorani is there? Which one? Show me. Show your practice sheet. That's why I say to you, don't sleep when class is going on. Huh? That is CH3 MGBR practice sheet you are showing. I'm asking you, Jervitin of practice sheet. Come on, right, all of you, come on. Yorani, come on, right, Yorani, fast. Yorani will answer these questions now. <laughs> question number two, first copy the questions. Question number two, I'm going to the next page. Write excess here, excess. Excess. Next question. Your time starts now. Copy. Just 20 seconds. Hmm. Now, see here, how many acidic hydrogens are present? How many acidic hydrogens in ethylene glycol? This is the structure of the two acidic hydrogens. Very good. So, how many moles of methane we will be getting? We will be getting two moles of methane. If you take two moles of methane, how many liters volume? Can you tell me? 2 into 22.4 liter. That is 44.8 liter. This is called as Jervitinov's active hydrogen determination. Next page I am moving on. Huh. Next question tell me how many acidic hydrogens? Actually that H I am showing this side actually like this I should write. C triple bond we should show. Do you understand? Carbon triple bond CH. That is the correct way of representation. How many acidic hydrogens? Four. Very good. This hydrogen, this hydrogen, this hydrogen, this hydrogen. So how many moles of methane we will be getting? Four moles of methane gas. So how many liters according to Jervitino? Four into... 22.4 liter. Got it. Got it. Next question. Can you tell me how many moles? Message your answer. Message your answer.
evening batch please message me morning batch respond to the polling fast last 2 seconds now check it out two was marked by 43% students four was marked by uh 44% students but three three was marked by 14% of students who are these four three marked students raise your hand once raise your hand 14% students three was marked by 14% students only four students raised oh you have to see that no screen Ah, see now. Option three, option three, option three is the correct answer. <laughs> High five. Option three, <laughs> correct answer. But you see, option three was marked by very few students. Very few. Then how, ma'am? How option three came? Interesting, no? Let's see why option three is the correct answer. Let us see. Down your hands. When you add CH three minus, all acidic hydrogens comes out. This is H plus. This is H plus comes out fine. But here the problem is two hydrogens are there. Whether these are acidic or not, that is the doubt. Actually. Here oxygen is connected with more, hydrogen is connected with more electronegative atom like oxygen. Oxygen gets negative charge, hydrogen gets a positive charge, so it is acidic. Here also this carbon is connected with a triple bond, so more acidic. Triple bond means SP, more electronegative carbon. So carbon is negative, hydrogen is positive, that is fine. But why these hydrogens are acidic? How to know that? Because if this H, this is a different case. Like if this H, this hydrogen goes as a H plus, it gets a negative charge. If it gives H plus, it gets negative charge. If it gets a negative charge, that carbon, total number of electrons, how many? Two, this bond, two, these two electrons, two. Total six electrons. Six electrons in the ring means aromatic or not. 2, 6, 10 pi electrons are aromatic in nature. That's why it ready to lose only one H plus. If it lose other H plus also, it becomes 8 electrons. It is not stable. Only one H plus it lose and it is aromatic. So how many moles of methane gas will be getting? Only 3 moles. It is like an, you know, you should pay more attention when you solve this question. 3 into 22.4 litre. Okay. Jervitin of active hydrogen determination method is clear. This is, uh, you know, belong Niveta. Tell me. Ha, ha. Tell me. Please explain one more time, ma'am. Which question. one? Which last one? question, ma'am. Ha. What do you understand? Tell me. Ma'am, it can lose four electrons. Four hydrogen one, so four moles it can form. No. Ah, if it lose four, ah, ah, it can't lose this fourth hydrogen because if it lose one hydrogen H plus, this carbon gets negative charge. Yes, no. Yes, so two plus two plus two electrons, six electrons. Six electrons. It, ah, it is getting aromaticity. That's why it don't like to lose another H plus because it lose that aromaticity character. Aromatic um, aromaticity is more stable, no ma'am. Aromatic is stable. The compound which is, you know, a highly stable is aromatic. See, this is a rule you will be learning. In A, E, R, H, A is the rule. Highly stable aromatic. Next, equal resonance. Next, resonance. Next, hyperconjugation. Next, I inductive effect. That is the order of the stability. If any compound is undergoing aromaticity means that is more stable compound. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Shall I go to the next page, all of you? Huh? Clear? Keep the heading. Nucleophilic addition reaction. 
till now you learned acid base reactions of gr acid base reactions of gr you learned nucleophilic addition reaction now write write this reaction what you do is your page is there no your page your page in your this suppose this is your paper your book paper like this you just write alkene one side nucleophile electrophile another side you write c double bond o nucleophile electrophile like this you you write two okay the year one year one What I want to tell you is, every reagent has nucleophile and electrophile. If you add one molecule as a reagent means, it will have nucleophile also, it will have electrophile also. But if you see this reaction, <coughs> this alkene bond breaks, for example, one carbon plus charge, another carbon minus charge it will get, depending upon the type of molecule. One, if you break a pi bond, what you pay attention, all of you listen carefully. Pi bond is there, break a bond, one carbon plus charge, one carbon minus charge. For example, I got plus charge on this first carbon, minus charge. Wherever minus charge is there, there electrophile goes and attack. Because electrophile is electron seeking one. It needs electrons. After that, nucleophile goes and attack so after that what will go and attack nucleophile goes and attack do you understand first electrophile is attacking next to nucleophile here electrophile is attacking electrophile is attacking in first step this step is a slow step first step is a slow step second step is a fast step ma'am how i will come to know which is a slow step which is a fast step that we cannot find that is based upon the experiment. So here, electrophile is attacking in the slow step. So these are electrophilic addition reactions. Revuri sai likita. Understand? Okay. These are which reactions? Electrophilic addition reactions. Why electrophilic addition reactions? Tell me. Because electrophile is attacking in a slow step. How we come to know? That is an experimental factor. So alkenes undergo which type of reactions? Electrophilic addition reactions. Coming to the carbonyl compounds. First, nucleo, this negative charge shift like this. So what oxygen gets? That pi electron, oxygen is more electronegative. This two electron shifts na oxygen gets negative charge, carbon gets which charge positive. Wherever positive is there, nucleophile comes and attack. First nucleophilic addition reaction takes place. Nucleophile go and attack. First step is a slow step. Hello, everybody, are you following? First nucleophile attacks. Here I'm I, I'm showing you paper sign here. This is paper sign. This box. Don't get confusion. Down. Put the arrow and continuation only. Right. Electrophile next to go and attack. We will be getting electrophile comes and attack on oxygen. This is fast step. So rate does not depends on fast step. Rate depends only on a slow step. Okay. Rate does not depend upon the fast step. Rate depends only on the slow step. Everybody clear? So carbonyl compounds undergoes which type of reactions? Nucleophilic addition reactions. Alkenes undergoes which reactions? electrophilic addition reaction. So when you see alkene, what you should do? First, you should add electrophile. Then you should add nucleophile. That is the sequence. When you see carbonyl compounds, what you have to do? First, you have to add nucleophile. Then you have to add electrophile. That is the sequence. That is an experimental fact. Clear? Now, you one reaction I will tell you. Then we will do the practice sheet. Okay. 
Now, see, this is our carbonyl compound. What do you mean by carbonyl compounds? Compounds which are having C double bond O group are called carbonyl compounds. Repeat all of you. What are carbonyl compounds? Compounds which are having C double bond O group. Okay. Now, what I told you, they undergo which type of reactions? Nucleophilic or electrophilic? Nucleophilic addition. So, what is a nucleophile in Grignard reagent? R minus. It is a good source of carbon anion. Where it goes and attack? Carbon or oxygen? Carbon. And then these two electrons shifts on to oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative. Oxygen gets negative charge. Carbon gets positive charge. So, you will be getting R group here. O minus. And whatever the MgX left, that comes in attack here. Okay. Later on, hydrolysis takes place. Hydrolysis means water comes. Breakage like this. H2O comes. Breakage takes place. We will be getting the product. OH plus MgOHx. Any difficulty? Simply to say, what is the technique? Wherever double bond is there, double bond or break this bond, put hydrogen on oxygen, through water it is coming, put that R group on carbon, that is the trick. Hello, 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 understand, understand. What do you have to do? From Grignard reagent, R group attack to the carbon. From water, attach that hydrogen to the oxygen. That is the final way of writing the products. Huh? Shall we do the practice sheet now? What do you say? Here is this practice sheet. It's not there. Is there no? I didn't say O2. This practice sheet is with you now, not the check ones. You, Rani? There. Now, sure. That time you showed this practice sheet only, no? Uh, open that practice sheet, all of you. I'm not able to see here. In, in your city is there, no? Once you show me, Urani, raise your hand. Ah, correct, correct. Nucleophilic addition action practice. I'll open this. Okay. Good girl. Compensated. There and here. Huh? <laughs> See here, all of you. Huh. What is the technique I told you? Simply, when you see Grignard reagent and carbonyl compound, keep that R group, whatever the alkyl group comes, keep that alkyl group on CH2 and hydrogen on oxygen. Easy. Any mechanism you write? No need. Again, I'll repeat. Suppose take same CH2 double bond O. What you should do? Keep this alkyl group on carbon. What is that sound? Uh, keep this alkyl group, uh, ethyl group on that carbon. And hydrogen on that oxygen. 
So break were born. One said ethyl group, one said hydrogen. That's it. One said ethyl group, one said hydrogen. That's it. Can you tell me the next one? What you should do? Try this practice sheet. Your time starts now. You have to use the trick and you should write product. Completed? Huh. How to write the product? Tell me. IPR, where it goes and attack? On this carbon, it will attack. On oxygen? Hydrogen. Next one. TBU. TBU will attack on carbon, CH2. On oxygen, what will attack? Hydrogen. From where this hydrogen is coming? From water it is coming. You can take H3O plus or you can take ammonium chloride also. Both function is same. Ammonium chloride also, ammonium ion is there, no? Ammonium ion gives H plus ion. H3O plus also gives H plus ion. Both function is doing of hydrolysis. So, can you tell me the product in this case? pH goes and attack on CH2 group. And oxygen gets H plus. Simply, that CH2 double bond O break the bond. R part here, H part here. That's it. No difficulty. No difficulty. Try the next three questions. How many questions are there? Try, try, try. Your time starts now. Your time starts now. Try up to question number 10. Question number 10. Aishwarya Uva. Do, do. Completed? Okay. Now see here, what, what do you have to do? This is R minus. R minus, where it goes and attack on CH2. On oxygen, same H plus. Again, see. Wherever C double, you, you no need to deviate anything. Oh, carbonyl group is there now? Is there. Grignard reagent is there. So, Grignard reagent, four reactions. Grignard reagent involves four reactions. One is uh, acid-base reactions, nucleophilic addition reactions, uh, uh, then uh, SN2TH reactions, SN2 reactions. Out of that, carbonyl group is there means aldehydes and ketones involves nucleophilic addition reactions. And then what I should do? Alkyl group I should keep on a carbon. Hydrogen I should keep on oxygen. That's it. Then CH3, CH, keep that alkyl group on carbon and hydrogen on oxygen but by breaking that double bond. Trick is clear? Trick is clear everybody? Can you tell me the next one? I want every student should get a correct answer here. Question number eight. Where the alkyl group comes and attack? Methyl group? Carbon. Where hydrogen comes and attack? Oxygen. Easy? 
ट्रिक यू राइट इट ट्रिक ग्रिग्नाड रिएजेंट आर एम जी एक्स इज देर नो दट आर ग्रुप कम्स एंड अटैक वेर कार्बन ऑफ विच वन सी डबल बॉन्ड वो ग्रुप दट हेच थ्री वो प्लस आर अमोनियम क्लोराइड वॉट इट विल गिव हेच प्लस वेर इट गोस एंड डोनेट ऑक्सीजन ऑफ कार्बोनिल ग्रुप Any difficulty, huh? Fifth class student also he will understand, ma'am. Very easy, ma'am. I'll break one bond. I will keep that whatever you have taken here, methyl you are taken. Then you keep that methyl here. Whichever Grignard reagent you have taken here on arrow, which is there, Mg, Me, Mg, Br is there. So I am keeping Mg, Me, Br. hydrogen will come on to oxygen see the next practice sheet way to keep that methyl group carbonyl carbon you should break you should so here methyl group here hydrogen easy easy interesting interesting Ha huh, try next one by seeing this big structure you will worry no by see you will see grignard reagent ma'am very easy ma'am that grignard reagent r part goes and attack carbon h plus goes and attack on oxygen so what you will be getting the product write the product ch3 ch2 c here ph will come Here O H will come, then C H C H three. Here also C H three. Got the clarity? Is it clear? Next question. See reverse reaction. Now you know the product. They are asking you what is this ketone. just to think for a second pure copying busy in copying i want path path la party ramya raise your hand ramya show me your practice sheets i'm not I have not taken the copy, I'm sorry. How you will understand? How you will write away? See the speed I am going. I'm writing, mom, but I'll show you. No, you should not write. That is the rule number one. Sorry, mom. Tomorrow onwards I will Good. take the. To tomorrow must mandatory. If not, there means I won't allow you. Okay. And if any student is not having practice sheet, see, you will be in a busy in the writing part. that's why I, i am sending you you have to take the sheet should be there in your hand if any condition ma'am i am printer is not there in my home or a xerox shop is not there in my home some condition will be there no some reason then write and be ready in your hand pre copy should be must that is must that is a secret of organic if it is there in your hand if you start doing in my presence it will be good how much fast you will write so sad you can't write if you write also you know no i don't i i don't accept that sudarshana show me your practice sheet unmute your phone Ma'am, I also not take it. Ma'am, to my one thing, I'll do today. Who and all not showing two days? Ah, uh, you don't you don't attend classes. You see, ah, huh? no practice sheet. I, I parallelly last uh, next student. Hey, Malata, show me your practice sheet. Ma'am, I'll 
Sorry, ma'am. I not there. You should feel ashamed of your part. What you are doing, huh? See, no, no proper. You know, don't tell reason. Before telling, you are telling one reason means gone. Pavitra, show your practice sheet. Not there, not there. There. Ah, uh, show Pavitra. Okay, there. Good girl. At a time, show everybody your practice sheets like this. Next time, if I don't see practice sheet, two hundred rupees fine. I'll keep on you. Be careful. Practice sheet. If not, there means normally you don't listen to me. I'm online. No, today will ask tomorrow. You can't ask. So I'll jump and go. No, you can't escape from Komali, ma'am. Show practice sheets. Everybody keep like this. Keep like this and sit. I'll take a screenshot. Some paper you don't keep. I'll easily find. Ma'am, you can't find. No, some paper I'll keep. No, no, no. I'll zoom and see every student. Why Shweta Tirumal not there? Huh? Nitikshan, Narthan Varsa, Bagheeradhi. I'll take screen screenshot. Wait. Gone. Monish Kumar, not there. Huh? Benu Suji, not there. Huh? How you will understand class? Abdul Abdul Rajit, na? Hmm? Few students, why this tension? I leave class and they left. Huh? Intelligence, intelligence. Next class, mandatory down down practice sheets. Who and all having appreciating you? Who is not having practice sheets? I don't know. For ne by next class, everyone must and should you should have. Okay, if you want me to send little early, also I'm ready to send. Two o'clock shall I send? Afternoon two o'clock shall I send? Okay, one o'clock if you want me to send, also I'll send. I forgot which practice sheet I'm teaching now. Which one? Carbonyl compounds, no? Huh. Okay. After this, I'll end the class. See here, you are adding Grignard reagent. Very easy. See from Grignard reagent, ethyl group comes. So remove this ethyl group. From, high, from water, H plus comes. Remove that. Keep a double bond. That is only your ketone. Ketone place, you write this answer. You write this answer. From how I wrote the product, from Grignard reagent, ethyl group is coming. So I removed that. And from water, H plus ion is coming. So I removed that. We will be getting that ketone. Keep a double bond. Keep a double bond. Write a point here. Rate of reaction. Rate of which reaction? Nucleophilic addition reaction. Rate of nucleophilic addition reaction is inversely proportional to the crowding. Inversely proportional to the crowding. More is the crowding. See, more is the crowding. Slower will be the rate. More is the crowding. Slow will be the rate. Understand? Formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, acetone and I know... Propan propanaldehyde and uh, butanaldehyde. Which one is more faster reaction? Less crowding. Less crowding. Why? Because if more releasing groups are there, nucleophile don't like to attack. Carb See here, 
two groups are releasing electrons. So carbon don't involve in nucleophilic addition reaction. Aldehydes reaction faster than ketones. Aldehydes reacts faster than ketones. Write one more point here. Rate, same, same here, proportional to. Rate of nucleophilic addition reaction proportional to. More positive charge, more positive charge at carbonyl carbon. At carbonyl carbon. More positive charge at carbonyl carbon. Clear everybody? See here two groups are releasing. Releasing means giving electrons. Negative charge will be bore. Nucleophile don't attack. More crowding. See here, two groups are crowding. Nucleophile can't attack. Less crowding, faster the reaction. Aldehydes and ketones, which one will undergo reaction faster? Nucleophilic addition reaction faster. Aldehyde undergo reaction faster. Remaining practice sheet shall I discuss in next class? Okay. This is, uh, you like today's class? This is... Uh, 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 uh -huh. No, all practice sheets at a time, it will mix up and it will be clumsy. Day by practice sheet, it will be clear. Just two more weeks, that's it. After that, once inorganic starts, now you, you will not have practice sheet. Physical will be problems. Uh, organic will be, you know, practice sheets. Inorganic will be, you know, like in reaction-based things will be there. So different, each one is different. Huh? So two more weeks. Ma'am, when will you start physics only? No physics only in class. Only chemistry class. Ma'am, can you explain 10th question? 10th question, Madhish, you, your, your video is always off. Huh? Your video is always off. But what is there in 10th question? Wherever carbonyl group is there, add R group at carbon, hydrogen on oxygen. Uh, whatever the Grignard reagent R group on carbon and hydrogen on oxygen. Same point to be noted. This point. This, this take screenshot of this. I am really appreciating you for attending class also on Sunday. Many students by this time nicely they are dreaming and they are sleeping. But you are the one <clears throat> out of them you have an interest on studies, you have passion that you should reach your goal, your, you, you know, the desire is there in your heart. That's why even Sunday also, without telling any excuse, without telling any reason, you attended the session and you learned in a good, uh, you know, you're very nice student. You are such an awesome student. You have bright future. You know, one day definitely you will make your teacher and your parents proud of you. Please have patience until that. That's it. That's it. Huh? See you in the next class. This is today's session. Until next class, keep smiling, keep shining. Have a nice day. Bye, love you. Say bye. Say bye. Bye-bye. See you in the next class. Huh?